as you can tell by the side right here. We're out here today at Sea World San Antonio for the Spooktacular, which is the kids event for Halloween. They are going to be doing trick or treating, sort of like a uh, distance sort of trick or treating, where they put the candy like down a tube. They have a couple kids shows going on. They have a Sesame Street Halloween themed show, and then they have the Sesame Street Halloween parade at the end of the day. So let's go inside and see what we can see. It's very much not busy. And I think I saw this last time, I forgot to get it. But kids want to come to Hello Scream and they're too afraid of getting scared. You can always get one of these for $15 and it lets all the ghouls and goblins know to not attack your children. Yeah, this is the pirate area. So there's a lot more of a upbeat mood going on as compared to when I came for Hello Scream. Four skeletons and the hood owl in a dead tree. <laughs> It's so cool. It's so cool. We're looking around to pick out a trick or treat bucket so that she could collect her candy. Oh, that's perfect. That elbow bucket. I like this rotten things, like stranger things. Let's see. Look, who's that? Who's that? And then they have the trick or treat bags if you don't want to get the bucket. Well, how much are these? $3.99. Oh. Three ninety nine. I don't even know why I was trying to look for it. Another Stranger Things reference. <laughs> Counting thing. This might be a little early, but they actually have Christmas stuff. So they got these sweater. They got books, toys. I think they, yeah, they got these stuffed animals. They already have ornaments. Yeah, they're pretty much just <laughs> set up and ready to go for Christmas. Elbows and Nutcracker, right there, and then Cookie Monster. That's the same thing. Right. So they have pin trading, just like they showed at the front gate. And basically you buy a pin, just kind of like a Disney. And as you collect them, you could come in and you can trade them for free for another one that they have on the wall. They definitely have a whole lot of them to pick from. So we're getting this one. I think we're opting for this one right here. I kind of like the vintage look of this one here. Friends Forever. This one's $9.99. That one is $9.99. But we'll get it for half off, so it'll only be five bucks. Gotta take it back. I think the, uh, the Japanese style Cookie Monster and Oscar are my favorite. Another retro look. Has anyone ever seen a pin this massive with this much information on it? Uh, it's because they're very popular. Yeah. We don't sell these ones. They're only for the, like, you only will find them on the pin trading walls. Oh. And at all the stores inside the park have them, even at the SeaWorld store at the very front, which has the biggest because it has two big ones. You, so official with your Abby wigs, <laughs> your Abby doll. Oh, oh Abby out. out. Like Abby out. We're into the countdown to Halloween. Yeah. They have all kinds of stuff decorated in here. Literally already. Look at you. Say hi. Oh yeah, they have it all decked out. Definitely a lot of pumpkins, a lot of bats. As you can see, adorned across the set here. Abby everything. You got your Abby costume. You got the plushie. You got the cup. And then you even got your Halloween book. And the bubble maker. And the bubble maker. Okay, there's a lot going on. Even the lights at the top are colored the Halloween. Yes, it is a story about me. Uh, uh, uh. And it begins with my favorite song, the Song of the Count. You know that I am called the Count. Because I really love to count. Slowly, slowly getting faster. Once I start the Elmo, what are you doing here in the pumpkin bag? Oh, well, Elmo's about to take home a pumpkin. It's Elmo's favorite part of Halloween. But Elmo, why take the pumpkin when you can stay right here and count it all day? Types of little hay type photo opportunities around the park, so you should get it. Ready? So, this is how we do it. Go like that. Take care, put them in the She freaked out a little bit. Then, of course, next to the first candy spot, they have a hay maze. Oh, yeah, she's got it. She's gonna sit down and eat her candy. Yeah. We made it. <laughs> you did it. It's pretty easy. You want to take a picture? It's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. You want to help up? <laughs> picture. That's cute. Hi. Look at Mama. Say 
Uh, oh, okay. Second candy okay. location over here. It's her first time trick or treating. Put it right there and it's gonna come out. <laughs> oh. Right. You wanna hold it? Perfect. There we go. Fish just stopped and started staring at her. Oh my gosh. It's saying hi. Look at that. It's just like staying around this area, just looking at her. Look, that's your friend. It's your friend right there. Look. That's your friend. That is too. That is so cute. Look, he, he loves you. Say hello. Oh my. What does the crab do? <laughs> What's SeaWorld without seeing the orca himself? Getting straight up out of the water. Look, it's like doing something. <laughs> Look at that. It's a little itchy. The whale's giving himself a little massage. <laughs> Splashed by your first whale. Let's splash by a whale. I got a little bit too. Ready? It's your first time on a carousel. It's a Sesame Street carousel. here soon we're about three minutes out so just a matter of time a tip from last time we saw the parade they actually would end it right here where we're sitting right across from the main bay of play sign right next to this building and they would stop and get out and actually walk through this area to the back so you could get an up close look of all the characters it's like there's some random ducks where the heck did these ducks come from what's going on I was not expecting them. are they part of the parade <laughs> wow, I've never seen that before. I mean, I've seen ducks, I've just never seen them walking through a theme park like this. Oh, pick up your You're so ready.
there's the new world's tallest swing ride they got. They just have the base there built. Looks like they're making a lot of headway on it. I could kind of get some shots of the Dia de los Muertos area over here. Or Day of the Dead. I didn't get to see this last time. A little photo op right there. Try to get a good Day of the Dead photo. Decorated this whole stand right here. They completely like repainted it or something. So right here it says that you can commemorate your loved ones. Send a photo to this email address right here by 2.30 p.m. Photos will be displayed here beginning at 3.30 p.m. Kind of a look of what the new title search right is gonna look like coming 2022. four skeletons, three black cats, two trick-or-treaters, and a hood owl in a dead tree. <laughs> On the seventh day of our street, my baby gave to me Seven pumpkins carving, six goblins gobbling. Five.